Right now, we're in the middle of one of the biggest changes we have ever seen to Performance Max campaigns with Google Ads. Ever since the introduction of Performance Max campaigns, it just seems like Google Ads has taken a downward turn in terms of revenue, in terms of giving users more control. But I'm very pleased to say that this new Performance Max campaign update I'll be going over will change things for the good. Now, the update I am referring to is this second one right here, which is basically the search theme update within performance max campaigns and there's a huge chunk of information they have included regarding these new search themes updates but essentially if we take this and kind of summarize it basically what google has done it has introduced this search theme section within performance max campaigns as well as search campaigns to make it easier for the algorithm to go out and find your perfect customer. Now, think of this as similar to interest targeting with Facebook ads. Because of this interest targeting, your Facebook ads algorithm and your Facebook ads or TikTok ads campaigns could actually go out and get shown to the right types of people. Same is now true with the search themes option within a performance max. And this is super beneficial for those brands, as it says right here, those with number one, not enough information on their landing pages. So I know so many e-commerce brands just don't pay that much attention to their actual product landing base. Their description is just a bunch of technical details. Their product images just mediocre. Their titles are not the best. Well, now search theme is your new best friend because literally you can get away with having a not so optimized landing page and not so optimized product page, although I highly recommend against it. But the second kind of types of brands which can really benefit from this is if you have just started in a brand new niche, if you have just started selling a brand new product and your ad account never really had a previous information regarding that product or regarding that niche well now with search themes it's going to be very simple for that algorithm to go out and find your perfect audience all you need to do is just do a little bit of keyword research and figure out which the main keywords users in that given niche are searching with and it's as simple as inserting those within the search theme section but we're not done yet the third most important thing it's as simple as just launching that campaign and then using the search theme section to your advantage and this also includes search inventory by the way which means google search campaigns and you can use these search themes within an actual search campaign to directly tell the algorithm what kind of user to go after and all this is going to do is it's going to help you ramp up your performance for that pmax campaign or for that search campaign very very quickly regardless of whether you have a lot of data in your ad account or whether you have zero sales in your ad account this has a lot of benefits for search campaigns as well by the way for instance it says right here search themes and performance max campaigns will have the same prioritization as your phrase match and broad match keywords in search campaigns. Essentially, what that means is the exact match keywords that are identical to the search queries will continue to be prioritized over search themes and other keywords. So if you have some type of exact match going on, now search themes is not going to override that. It's going to run alongside it and also try to target the different kinds of broad match and phrase match keywords. And this update goes into a great example here of what, how if you want to be driving ticket sales for a museum, Museum with great outdoor space for kids and if you don't have these kinds of keywords on your landing page in normal cases you would not necessarily be able to get the best possible results for a situation like this however with search themes now you can actually add these kinds of keywords in like activities for children or outdoor recreation within search themes directly and now it doesn't even matter if your landing page has these words or not it's still gonna go after these kinds of keywords it's still gonna go after people who are most likely to purchase from you and have previous data points purchasing in similar categories very useful and very unique now a little bit of more technical details about search themes first one is that search themes basically work alongside the urls you choose the assets you have and so on and so forth and the second thing you can do with search themes is you can add up to 25 search themes per asset group however i don't recommend you do this you want to keep it only to the select few maybe five maybe ten max search themes which you absolutely know are relevant to your products but in addition to that one one thing to keep in mind is if you have any types of brand exclusions added within the back end for your performance max campaigns search themes will abide by them and they're not going to overwrite them but in addition to that as i mentioned it's going to run along to that final url expansion page feeds and any url contains information so if you're only targeting certain products or all of your products it's going to just run with that
but these two things are basically what we have already covered in the pack. Now, a few FAQs before we go into exactly how to search themes works, how to set it up, etc. Now, a lot of brands might think that adding search themes is going to mm -hmm. now just limit the performance. And instead of just getting shown for any type of broad audience, any type of broad keyword, search themes is going to make it so that it only gets shown to these specific search themes, which you have inserted. Well, Google says that this is not going to happen because it's going to showcase to whatever URLs you have chosen. And if you have the final null URL expansion, it's going to go even beyond anything you have chosen. Although I don't recommend that, but you don't have to worry about search themes limiting any type of performance max traffic at all. And if we look right here, how it's going to affect search campaigns, search themes will have the same prioritization as your phrase match and broad match keywords in your search campaigns. And the one with the highest ad rank will be prioritized. So it's not like now that you're using search themes, you won't be able to use your specific keywords you have targeted and there will be overlap. There is going to be no overlap at all. And this means there will be no internal bidding as well, which is very important. And search themes, again, are not required with performance max, although it is good if you start testing with them and you can remove them if you don't see the test doing too well or if you don't just want to run with search themes. But now let's move on to actually creating a brand new campaign and understanding how search themes works. So if we go now to the new campaigns dashboard, we can just click sales because that should be our main objective. Always make sure purchases is the only conversion action always chosen. And now from here, you want to click shopping because if you're an e-commerce brand, you want to be clicking performance max campaign right down here rather than choosing performance max here just because if you choose this first one, there's a chance it might just become a display campaign. But once you choose that, then you want to scroll all the way down, give it a nice name and click continue. And we're going to go over just the main thing that we want to go over, which is search theme. So I'm just going to click continue for all of this with random settings. Once we're on this page, if you look right here, we will be able to see the search theme section. If you click on it, it's basically this new section here. So within search theme, as it says, we can add up to 25 different search themes. And it actually does not give you any type of drop down menu in whatever way. So you want to make sure that you're adding any type of search theme you wish on your own with the right keywords. And I highly suggest you use buying intent keywords with search themes, because otherwise it's going to be very difficult to make it work. Now, let's say, for example, our legendary example of 3D printers, you're trying to sell 3D printers. So what we're going to do is we're just going to type in the keyword 3D printer. Now, for search themes, you could get away with just using this kind of major keyword. But if your product title already includes this, then for search themes, it's really not going to be necessary to have this kind of keyword in. But this is where things get very interesting. You can now add those keywords in, which are the main keywords, which you can't normally add within your product title. For example, you could add in a keyword like best 3D printer right here within search theme. So we're going to type in best 3D printer. It is something that's getting searched often. You can make it be more specific, like 2023 or for miniatures or for small business, whatever you wish. It's all about just being as accurate and specific as possible. But you just type that in and then it gets added there. And now from here, you can begin your search for whatever keywords you want to add. It could be 3D printer Black Friday because Black Friday is coming up when I'm recording this video. You can go ahead and add that in because if you have any types of promo codes, getting run, then this is a good kind of keyword to add. But you can just go on and on, add any type of other things you may want. If there's some types of specific things you provide with it, like models or pens, you can add those things in as well. It's all about giving a generic direction for the algorithm to know exactly what your product is and what you sell. It's not about really being hyper focused and just using the same keywords you already use within your titles. It's more about just going a bit broad, doing more keyword research to figure out exactly what works. But a very crazy update, and I do believe that this is a step towards Google Ads, giving the user back the control that we need. And it's more like running a smart shopping campaign once again, which means it's going to be much more profitable, much more scalable long term. But if your brand is doing over $40,000 or more per month in revenue, and you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level with Google, go on to my website, yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen. But although this is just one part of a performance max, campaign and a performance max approach, there are so many other parts you need to be getting right to ensure your brand is scaling and your brand is profitable. And this video right here goes over a performance max strategy and a performance max approach, which if combined with this one, it will take your brand to the next level quickly.